I guess when I first found out about Free the Slaves, I couldn't believe it. I almost didn't believe it. I thought, really? There are slaves to be freed still? Prior to this trip, I was, I was on the East Coast. And when I say prior, I said only a few days ago, I was on the East Coast of the United States fishing with my family. And in a very short plane ride across the Atlantic Ocean, in a very short van ride up into a lake to another fishing community, I saw something that will probably live with me forever. I, I saw a lake where children really are the fishing industry. You know, of course some of them fish with their families to support their families in the fishing villages, but many, many of those children, and the number is unknown, but many of those children are forced to work and cannot leave um, either under threat by their, their traffickers, their slave masters. You know, and some of them, unfortunately, they can't leave due to violence. Children are out there dying all the time. So here comes the boat fronted by James Kofi Annan. James used to work out on this lake from, I guess, when the time he was six to about 13. And all James wanted was for a rescue boat to come and get him out of the work that he was being forced to do. And when he escaped, he taught himself to read, got himself into college, got himself a degree, and he's become well respected throughout Ghana and throughout all over the world. And now he's devoted his life to being the rescue boat that he always wanted when he was a kid. And this is the first of, I believe, many boats that he'll probably acquire. After James and his men perform a rescue and really get with the communities to get the kids out of danger and out of labor, they come here. This is a, a shelter, this is like a rehabilitation center where they're cared for, they're given proper nutrition, and you know, they're kind of slowly explained what's really been going on and that their families have been looking for them. And then after they get through the rehabilitation process, then they're reintegrated back into their communities. So this is, this is like the halfway point between you know, being enslaved and you know, being back in the free world. We've got some life to go. We've got some joy in this thing. Come on along. We really want to feel our song. We've got some life to go. We've got some joy in this thing. I heard the Freedom Song a couple of months ago. And uh, it was a song by a young man, Luke Reno who traveled to Baton Rouge shortly after Hurricane Katrina and he wrote this freedom song with children in a shelter. And the song moved me, the story moved me and I, I sat, found this on MySpace and the story said, please take this song and share it with the world, it needs to be heard. And then I met the good people at Free the Slaves I said, you guys gotta hear this freedom song, it just really fits with the work that you're doing. Of course, Free the Slaves shared the freedom song with the kids here at Challenging Heights. Sunset on the beach, yeah. it makes and I had nothing to do with it. We get out of the van and the kids and their teacher are singing it note for note, every word, every lick, every nuance, singing the freedom song. Come on along. I know you really want to hear our song. We've got some life to bring. And I noticed these kids are saying we've got a light to bring. We've got We've got some joy in this thing. Come on, we got some light to bring. We got some joy in this thing. To hear these kids sing of freedom when here in this place might actually be the first time these kids are ever knowing what freedom really is. You know, this is they're being oriented in and introduce to freedom itself, the real deal. To feel good. And when I feel good, I sing. It just shows me what the power of music can do. And I salute Luke for writing a terrific song and, and wanting to, to share it with the world, wanting to give it away. And I sent him a text last night. I said, man, I just heard 20 former child slaves 
sing your song note for note. And he wrote me back. He's like, it's their song. He said, I wrote it for them. That's just huge. All for you, all for you, all for you, all for you. Look, that was for you, buddy.